what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Versace. came out in 1994. Really don't know what to classify this one as, but it is the release Blue Jeans by Versace. So as usual, what we'll always do is we'll break down the fragrance from its presentation with the bottle and the box. Then we'll talk about the fragrance's notes. And then I'm going to talk about the fragrance's performance on my skin. Then I'm going to give it my overall thoughts. And then, of course, my overall rating. But before we get started, I do want to say if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And also check out the new Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel for things like giveaways and, of course, pictures of fragrances from my collection. So let's get started. All right, so the presentation for Versace Blue Jeans. This is the container it comes into. So it comes in this kind of tin can. You can hear that. Uh, you can see there it's kind of got this farmer holding like what looks like a ukulele and it says Versace blue jeans and it's got this look like a denim pattern with pockets and different other guys and overalls that go all the way around and these like gold button or rhinestone pattern that goes around the top and the sides and the bottom there you have your barcode and brand information and you got your batch code right there. Um, and on the top you have a lion encased in gold It'll open up like that. You got a cardboard case there. So pretty interesting bottle, and or excuse me, box. Uh, here's what the bottle looks like too. So uh, the lion is all around the top here. The bottle's clear, the juice is blue. Um, and you can see it says Versace uh, Blue Jeans Man. It is called Versace Blue Jeans Man. So that's why I picked my Versace jeans t-shirt. I picked the douchiest one from back in the clubbing days that I own t-shirt wise. So I figured I'd wear it. You got the sticker on the bottom. Silver atomizer cap does. Click into place, you can hold it by the cap. It has a slight click. We'll take a look at the distribution. Pretty decent, um, a silver atomizer. So the bottle is actually kind of cool. I really like the way this one looks and I think it's a two and a half ounce bottle. So 75 ml. All right, so let's talk about the notes now for Versace Blue Jeans. There's actually a lot of notes in this. This is coming in in the early 90s. So it's like the tail end of maybe the, the 80s vibe where fragrances had a lot of notes. So um, it was a lot for me to even memorize. So I'm going to read them off to you guys. They got bergamot, lemon, anise, basil, palisander tree. That's the top. And then in the mid, you have geranium, rose, lavender, jasmine, sage, heliotrope, and lily. And then the base of this fragrance is iris, sandalwood, vetiver, musk, patchouli, tonka, vanilla, and amber. So... If anyone sits here and reviews this fragrance and tells you that they could pick on all the different notes and aromas, they're lying. You can't. Uh, you can pick up on vanilla. You can pick up on a little bit of lemon in the opening and amber and more vanilla. That's the dominant notes in this fragrance that I get. At least that's what I pick up. But it is filled with a lot of notes, but those are the most dominant. All right, so it's time to talk about the performance for Versace Blue Jeans. Believe it or not, the performance on this is excellent. I'm getting well over eight hours on this fragrance. Uh, when I put it on, it projects really strong for two hours. So the times that I've worn it recently, let's just say the past couple days, I've been wearing it to work. I'm going to be applying it at, say, 8 o'clock. I'm not leaving my house till 8.30. I have about a 30-minute ride. So by the time I get to work, I remember walking in through the parking lot to where my office is, and it just radiating off my skin. Like, I could really smell it. There was a large scent bubble, scent cloud on me. And that lasted for about another hour, hour and a half. Uh, it definitely projects really well. It's going to leave a nice sillage trail. People are going to smell you when you wear this fragrance. The project, uh, performance on this is awesome. Then later in the day, it's going to be about a two-foot uh, scent bubble around you. This didn't become a skin scent until well after I got home. Maybe that'd be hour 10. So uh, for a fragrance that, especially one that's inexpensive like this, because this is, what, 20 bucks? I got this, my first bottle at TJ Maxx. This is not my first bottle. This is um, my second. The other one is probably down to just here and it's in my fragrance section in my house uh but i'll explain why i bought a second bottle of this one but yeah this is easily an eight to ten hour fragrance for on me at least the performance on this is really good all right so my overall thoughts on versace blue jeans you know what even is this is this a blue scent i would say no traditional blue scent i don't really think so uh the presentation is blue the packaging is the juice of the of the, of the fragrance the juice is blue but the scent itself is a vanilla, sweet, very, very sweet scent. Slight powder vanilla, slight musk, maybe a little bit of citrus, but it's a heavy vanilla. It's almost unisex, so it's not masculine at all. So I'm sure you can now guess how I feel about the fragrance. Um, I think age-wise, this is a young guy scent. Like, I probably would have really liked this back when I was 19, 20, going out all the time, 21. 
uh, you know, that would have been a fragrance that I would have reached for and thought, wow, this is good. This is definitely going to get you compliments for sure. It's a compliment getter. Uh, my girlfriend really liked this one a lot. Me personally, though, now I'm, I feel like it's, I'm too old for this one. I don't really like it. It's not masculine. There's really not much to it in terms of like it changing. It stays the same the whole time. I have it on my hand here and it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. It's not like it's a, a, a foul scent. It's just I don't like it because of the fact that it's just too sweet. It's too vanilla for me. Um, and I don't see anyone maybe past 25 really wearing this a lot. Uh, you could do clubbing with it. Other than that, I think it's relatively casual. But um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me uh, scent-wise too. However, the reason I bought this bottle was because I was searching for another fragrance by Versace called Green Jeans. This one, of course they discontinued. You know why? Because it's awesome and it smells masculine and it's got some really great notes in it. So essentially, we'll do a quick little review of this one. Presentation is virtually the same, missing some of the characters there on the side. We'll take a look at the bottle. It's absolutely similar, uh, except the juice is green and the cap is green too. So when you spray this one, wow, the opening is just this intense burst of lime and there's some other notes in there. So some of the notes in this fragrance, You've got lime and aldehydes on top. Then you've got spice and florals. And then in the base, you have oak moss, musk, uh, grass, and moss. And this makes such a masculine scent. And it also performs really well. I first smelled this in middle school. I was at my cousin's house. My cousin, Matt, he was older than me. I always looked up to him. He was cool. You know, he always got a lot of girls. And he, got, he wore this fragrance. And I remember being in, at, uh, at his house. You know, his, it was my aunt's house. And... Um, this was in their bathroom and I picked it up and I smelled it and I thought, wow, that smells really good. And he was like, yeah, green jeans. I don't know. I just bought it. I was at the mall and I had not smelled it ever since until recently I was on eBay and there was a seller that was selling both of these as a lot of two. They were selling it for 120 bucks and I, but they had to make an offer. So I made an offer and I ended up getting both of them, both of these for less than $50 each. If I, you know, if I, my offer was, since it was accepted, but really I was paying for this. I didn't really care about blue jeans, but this stuff smells so good it's so masculine it performs really well and the scent changes in the beginning it's citrus and then it's kind of green with some moss and the musk and uh it's a little animalic too there's a little bit of sweatiness to it i love this scent this stuff is awesome i'm so happy to have it and i was a little concerned because when i first sprayed it i thought oh man maybe it went sour but then once i pumped it a little bit and it got some juice out it started immediately taking me back to it when I was in middle school. And that was the, uh, this is the second time I've smelled it essentially since then. And that was so long ago too. So I'm really happy to have this one in there. Why this was discontinued, but this one sticks around is beyond me. There are some other uh, colored jeans scents out there. I've never smelled them, probably never going to. But if you can get this one, it's on eBay and the prices are like retarded high. They're, they're so over the price. I was lucky to get this deal. I don't know if the guy knew how rare it was, but um, if you really like sweet vanilla, get this. If you want a scent that are more in line with what I review, this is the one. Um, and if you're willing to spend the money on it, they have a bunch of overpriced little ones, but you want to look for the, the two and a half ounce one because this is amazing. It's sort of like Czar, but a fresher Czar. Uh, a little bit of Paco Rabanne Pour Homme in there. A little bit of like open black, but like a citrus fresh one too. Those are all the vibes I get. But yeah, this stuff is absolutely incredible. Um, this stuff is like a girl scent. So um, if you wear this, please don't be offended. It's just how I feel about it, but it uh, just doesn't do it for me. Okay, it's time for the overall rating for Versace Blue Jeans. So presentation, I actually really like. I like the presentation of both of them. I like the, uh, the canister that they have. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. The performance on this is excellent. I, like I said, I get it over eight hours. So I would say on an average, it's gonna be an eight hour. It's gonna blow through a work day. So I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10 as well. The scent, I don't like. It's all vanilla all day, all night. That's all it is uh, to my nose. So I'm gonna give that a two out of 10. So the overall rating for Versace Blue Jeans by me is gonna be a six out of 10. Now that's relatively high considering how much I don't like the scent. Um, but again, I understand why people would like it. Again, it's a compliment getter. It's mass appealing. Um, it's sweet, but the performance and the presentation are, or the performance is great and presentation is very cool. And I, I actually weigh that in. And I know some reviewers don't really like to account presentation, but that's the first thing you see when you pick up a bottle of fragrance, whether it's on the box or the bottle, the presentation is your first impression before you smell it. So that's the thing that I, I think is important. And I always like a nice presentation. So six out of 10 for Versace blue jeans. Guys, I want to know what you think about the scent. Do you like this one? Have you ever tried green jeans? Would you try green jeans? Would you spend the money for it? 
Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comment section. Thank you again all for watching. I'm really enjoying all the interaction. I'd love to hear from you on Versace Blue Jeans. I will see you all next time in the next video. Take care.